Ooh. Well. That's how I would be if this week wasn't as exciting as it was. <laughs> Let me tell you that very exciting weekend of college football has passed. Uh, we're getting ready. We're gearing up for week number 12 here very, very shortly. We got the video ready and stuff like that. So let's get started with this recap. I am so happy that Penn State lost to Minnesota. So happy. Uh, Minnesota just flexed their muscles. They showed that they were really worthy of a better ranking. And I, I do believe that the committee will push them up this week. They'll push them up somewhere to where, you know, they can, you know, maybe get in the top 10, maybe. Who knows? But they're definitely, they definitely got to be above Penn State. Okay. Now, Penn State's defense was pretty much exposed during the Michigan game um, as being quite bad and not that great because they kept getting burned by the deep ball, kept getting burned by the deep ball. And when and even though they battled back and, you know, got into it, it really wasn't, you know, too much of a, a difference. You know, it was, it was great. You know, first, you know, big, big time game of the day, and it just goes so, so well. Got a feel for P.J. Fleck and the Golden Gophers. They could be doing some big things. I guarantee it. Do I think they win the Big Ten Championship, though? I don't know yet. You know, they still got a long way to go. They got Iowa. They got Northwestern. They got Wisconsin. And potentially, uh, maybe the Big Ten Championship, you know? Um, it's looking more and more like they're going to the Big Ten Championship because they're still undefeated. And all the other teams in the conference have two losses. At, at the very least. So meanwhile, the actual, well, they could be number two tomorrow, but, you know, uh, but the current number one in the CFP rankings, Ohio State just absolutely destroyed Maryland. Let's not even talk about this game. Chase Young was out, so, you know, that, that, that's a bad thing, but, you know, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Baylor. Baylor had to survive against TCU, and this game was ugly until the overtime started. Once the overtime started, you know, the scoring began and everything like that. Oh my goodness. I I I don't I don't know, but I mean Baylor had to survive another tough test. Keep in mind this is the same TCU team that beat Texas, you know. Um that Gary Patterson's defense has played lights out. So did Baylor's defense. The quarterbacks were not that great in this game. Not that great. Baylor's got a big, big game next 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 Saturday night against OU. And what we're hoping is, you know, hey, you know, we can maybe maybe Baylor may lose that game, maybe not. But Baylor has a defense that really has been that damn good. I mean, honestly, you know, they held TCU to only nine points during the duration of the, you know, of the uh, original part of the game, the original 60 minutes. And then, you know, of course, overtime came. But honestly, Baylor just keeps toughing it out. The defense is going to challenge Oklahoma next week. <sighs> Sorry. But speaking of Oklahoma, we'll talk about them in a moment. Uh, Vanderbilt just gets destroyed by Florida. You know, not even, not even gonna talk about that. Um, East Carolina, another heartbreaker for them. They pushed Cincinnati to the limit last week. This week, they push SMU to the limit, but SMU still wins the game. You know, it is what it is. Fifty-nine, fifty-one. What a basketball score that is. Um. Oh boy, the big one. LSU, Alabama. We might spend a couple minutes talking about this one right here. Oh, my God. Now, keep in mind, this is during the same time that I was struggling to watch my Longhorns get the victory against Tech, uh, against Kansas State. Um, it was a bad game, you know, for Texas, first of all. Um, really didn't have much going on. Uh, but we got the victory at the very end. Now we're still sitting pretty. We're still we're in third place now in the Big 12. No, thank you, Dicker the Kicker. Because, <laughs> I mean, Kansas State was just running the ball, shredding us all over the damn field. It's disgusting. But 
Here's a team who really got shredded, Alabama. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Yeah, LSU, Joe Burrow, man, that guy can throw. I think this may be his Heisman moment. I think he, this guy is going to win the Heisman. You know, um, let me tell you, that performance was just absolutely beautiful. 300-plus yards, 339, I think. LSU put up like 560 yards of total offense. And Alabama just couldn't do anything. Yeah, they scored 28 in the second half. But honestly, it was already too late. You know, it was already too late. LSU was up 20 at the half. I mean, just that defense was just, oof. I mean, yeah, Tua came back and everything. Yeah, he was not completely 100%. He was maybe more like 90% or something like that. And, yeah, he did. He looked rattled from that entire first half. He looked rattled. He looked He looked vulnerable. This is real. This is really the second time that we've seen him look like that. First time being that Clemson game in the national championship last year. Um, but, man, LSU has firmed their place at number one. They may be number one tomorrow, tomorrow night when we see the rankings. Um, as for Alabama, they only have one more shot. Um, unless LSU loses a game, which I doubt it, I think Alabama only has one more chance to get something going, and that's going to be against Auburn. Um, the rest of their schedule right now does not scream, ugh, does not scream good games. Texas a and was never good, and nor they, nor should they be, because, I mean, the Texas A&M, they're trash. Uh, hook them. But Alabama may not be going to the playoffs this year. I'm, I'm dead serious. They may not be. Um, you know, sure, you can drop them down the four if you want to, but I keep them on the outside looking in. You know, they got to they gotta prove themselves. I think they'll be pushed out by somebody. Um, what we're hoping is that the Pac-12 can get back to the playoffs. I mean, both Oregon and Utah, who are off this week, have only one loss, and arguably their losses, you know, you know to arguably their schedules are way better. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say yeah. So FCC is just a dog pile of trash right now, aside from LSU and Alabama. Because Georgia is not it. We'll talk about Georgia in a minute. Yeah, they scored 27 on Missouri. Um, but Georgia just ain't it. They are not going to be it. And they're going to lose another game at some point. I guarantee you the Bulldogs will. That offense looks pathetic. But anyway, back to Alabama. Yeah, Alabama has basically dominated, basically inferior competition, but that schedule is putrid ass trash. And they're playing, what, Mississippi State next week and, and Western Carolina or something like that. You know, I'm not sure which I'm not sure which FCS team they're playing this year, but they're playing somebody um, in the next two weeks that's going to be an FCS team. Not good. Not good for your schedule. Duke was not the choice. Should have went with somebody else. Um, who in the world wanted to play Duke anyway? So, you know, that's stupid. Anyway, I already talked about Texas, you know, taking on K-State. Um, that was a big victory for us. We got we get our, we get ourselves back in the mix for the Big 12 championship. We're still in it. Hard to believe. You know, this conference race ain't over yet. Just because we have three losses don't mean it's over yet. We're, we're getting closer. But anyway, <sighs> how many times do we have to highlight how bad Connecticut is on, on, on these recaps? Just, my God, Cincinnati just destroyed them. Just send them to the moon or something. Send Connecticut's whole team to the moon. I'm sure Randy Edsall is collecting some sort of bonus for you know scoring three points. But it is what it is. Iowa, Wisconsin, I'm not. Iowa lost again, you know. This time they lost by only two points um, to Wisconsin. Jonathan Taylor was running it up all over Iowa. You know, it really was a good game. I only caught the end of it again. Um, Georgia, trash offense. They only mustered two touchdowns for that entire game on offense. 
just absolutely pathetic performance. You know, sure they took on Missouri, um, but you know, pathetic, pathetic performance. I think this team is going to lose either next week or in the SEC championship. They got it. They, I don't think they were top. They're 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 not a, they're not a top five team. That's that's what the polls are looking for right now. They're looking for top five teams. I think Notre Dame, Notre Dame is just you know they're just kind of there. Uh, they easily dispatch Duke easily. You know what the even close. Uh, Clemson easily takes down NC State. Why that was the night game for ABC? I have no idea. Um, I turned it off. Lickety split because Clemson was already up twenty eight to nothing by like the end of the first quarter. Just disgusting. Um. Boise State, they're still ranked. They had to fight off Wyoming in overtime to get the victory there. Finally, Oklahoma. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If it weren't for Iowa State being completely stupid on that two-point conversion, I guarantee you, um, I guarantee you Oklahoma would be, you know, going down in their playoff hopes. Their playoff hopes are looking very, very slim right now uh, as well. Oklahoma. Jalen Hurts looked rattled. He threw a pick at the very least. You know, at Iowa State's hand, their defender's hands are just for decoration. Just absolute butterfingers for the most of the night. They had, like, at least 10 interceptions that night. Um, but, you know, Oklahoma survives, barely survives against Iowa State. And they got a big matchup against Baylor next week. And Oklahoma really – they really exemplify how bad, you know, you know, we all, how bad, you know, we thought they were, you know, we thought they were this good defense and no, no, you thought wrong. Fool's gold, fool's gold. They are not a good defensive team. When you get Jalen Hurts rattled, when you get Jalen rattled like Iowa State did and, you know, they couldn't allow them to score in the second half, they only scored what, two touchdowns at the very least in the second half? They were up 20-14 at halftime. You know, only scored two touchdowns in the second half. Just disgusting. Iowa State had it. They really, really had it. They had this game. They could have won this game too, but, you know, Iowa State just did something stupid. And then there was the um, the pass interference that wasn't called. Should have been called. But you know what? That is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, you know, Iowa State's got another L on their record. So that's going to do it. Week 11 was exciting. And I think we learned some things. I think we learned that Penn State and Alabama just aren't going to be the contenders that we thought they were going to be. You know, we thought we were going to hype up on, you know, a one versus maybe like one versus three matchup with Ohio State and Penn State in a couple weeks. But no, no, that wasn't going to happen. And Alabama is sitting here thinking, oh, we're going to go to the playoffs on our week schedule. No, that ain't happening. I don't think it'll happen uh, unless something happens, you know, with Pac-12 or the Big 12 or something like that. I don't think Alabama's getting in. Uh, they may may cut it close, but I don't think they're getting in this time. Not this time. And LSU and Ohio State, they could be meeting each other in the national championship. Very, 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 very good. Uh, but, of course, Clemson's still there, still right there in the mix of things. Uh, just quietly dominating the ACC, you know, like it, like they should be because the ACC is trash. But yeah, that's going to do it. That's going to be week 11 in a nutshell. Um, week 12 preview is coming out. Lickety split, about, I don't know, like 20 minutes or so, whenever this one gets finished uploading on YouTube. And I want to thank all the new subs that have come to the channel and all the new people that are watching my videos. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace.